Agriculture is one of the greatest developments we humans have made that let us progress as a society. Paired with the never-ending advancements of technology, we now can produce hundreds and thousands of crops that could feed a whole country which can be traded across the globe. In today's video, let's look at some of the newest agriculture technology in modern farming. Artificial Intelligence Starting today's list of innovations that modernized agriculture is the use and integration of artificial intelligence or simply AI. This technology has been around for a while now, but it continuously develops and evolves to fit the needs of its user. In agriculture, it makes use of a harvest system that helps detect diseases not only in crops, but in plants as well, including poor nutrition and pests on farms which is called precision agriculture. The AI in precision agriculture makes use of sensors that can detect and target weeds and then decide which herbicide to apply within the region. Here's a list of contributions AI has done to modern agriculture. It boosts production and labor. With the world's current population of 7.67 billion people, the demand and supply of food and other crops are almost always on the tipping scale. For years, farmers have struggled a lot since there is always a shortage in the workforce, but gradually through AI technology, this problem is slowly yet surely being addressed considering there are fewer and fewer people who are entering the farming industry in recent years. Generally speaking, it takes a lot of manpower and workforce, especially during harvest season in the fields. One such countermeasure for this problem is the use of AI agriculute bots. These bots aid manual labor in several ways wherein they help harvesting crops in higher volumes compared to manual manual labor and at a faster rate compared to humans. AI provides weather forecasts. One of the most important factors in farming is the weather, and thankfully, we have that in just a few taps of the screen. As we all know, crops cultivate in certain weather and let farmers adjust to how they will care for their crops. There is a computer model that forecasts weather along with weather threats wherein the AI system detects rotational movements in clouds from the satellite images that may have gone unnoticed. Thanks to this, the farmers can make adjustments to the weather conditions to lessen risks in their batch. AI system improves harvest quality. Another advantage of incorporating AI in agriculture is that it improves the harvest quality. As said before, farmers have adopted precision technology that helps the farmers control their harvest quality, maximizing their profits along the way. AI reduces the use of pesticides. Ever since time immemorial, farmers have struggled with pests, hence the use of pesticides has been a common trend among them, but of course, it compromises the quality of the produce. Through the use of AI, machines gather information related to crops and analyze where a certain weed is present. Upon knowing the location, farmers can now use pesticides in the detected area as opposed to the whole batch. They also saw an improved quality in their crops, which produce healthier batches. Pesticides are not only harmful to the plants, but to humans as well, so it's a celebratory win for farmers. The use of indoor vertical farming With farming lands being maximized to their full potentials, agriculturists as well as scientists scientists and allied forces have joined forces in seeking ways to innovate farming which resulted in indoor vertical farming. It is defined as the practice of rowing produce stacked one above another in a closed and controlled environment through the use of shelves stacked vertically that reduce the land space to grow plants contrary to the traditional farming methods. Most vertical farms are found in cities and urban areas wherein the space for farming is limited to thrive. One of the benefits of vertical farming is that it boosts crop yields and can even reduce farming's impact on the environment. And did you know, vertical farming does not require soil. Most of the plants used in this setup are either hydroponic or aeroponic plants. Hydroponic plants grow in nutrient-dense bowls of water, whereas aeroponic plants have their roots sprayed systematically with water and nutrients. Instead of relying on sunlight for the crops to grow, farmers and researchers make use of artificial light. They also control most of the variables needed for a plant's growth, which include humidity and water. Because there's limited use of water in this method, vertical farming maximizes energy conservation, and the majority of the workforce in vertical farms consists of robots and a small team of logistics that maintains this machinery. Some of the advantages of vertical farming include a year-round growth for crops, less use of water, and exposure to chemicals and disease, and more organic crops can be grown within the farm. More and more people are looking into vertical farming since by 2050, it's been predicted that 68% of the world's population is expected to live in urban areas. 
and the growing population will lead to an increased demand for food, according to the United Nations. However, researchers and developers are still looking at improving vertical farms since they have also a few loopholes in the system. First, the cost of building vertical farms is quite expensive to say the least, with pollination as one of the challenges researchers have to work on. Secondly, it involves a high labor cost. And lastly, vertical farms are highly dependent on technology, so when the time comes when a power outage breaks out, it could affect the crops negatively or even lead to their ruin. Livestock Farming Innovations in Animal Agriculture One of the most important yet overlooked sectors in farming is the livestock industry, which is not only a resource we rely on every day, but it's also one of the most vital since it encompasses renewable and natural resources. Unlike farming crops, the livestock industry suffers quite a lot due to one big factor, money. It's the most expensive yet necessary, but we can't blame the stakeholders and corporation owners too much, since the industry of the recipient of fewer investments in contrast to others, hence there are few adaptations of technology as well. Amado Guloy, CEO and founder of Rex Animal Health, has stated, We can't view farming in the Silicon Valley marn frame since farms don't operate in the same manner. Rex Animal Health is one of the leading companies that makes use of veterinary medicine and husbandry that are data-driven. The company and AI company Canthus are working together to address some of the livestock farming industry's problems. Canthus cutting-edge technology monitors cows 24-7, 365 days a year, analyzing their well-being, productivity, and performance through the use of AI and computer vision, wherein they translate visual information into actionable data. Opposite them, Rex Animal Health combines clinical performance, health, and genetic data to provide a clear understanding for farmers to prevent and predict diseases in herds that in turn can optimize yields. At the moment, sensors are still being developed from which real-time milk quality is being developed and are also looking into data concerning hormones, health, and pregnancy. 12% of dairy farms are currently using robots and this is expected to grow to 20% in the next five years. The use of connected cows. In livestock technology, they make use of the connected cow concept, wherein herds of animals, especially cows, are being equipped with sensors to monitor health and increase productivity. Farmers put individual sensors on the cattle, and the sensors track the cow's daily activity and health-related issues while providing data-driven insights for the entire herd. Like vertical farming, livestock farming technology also comes with several advantages and disadvantages. Some of its advantages include the improvement of the overall productivity and welfare of livestock by detecting sick animals and intelligently recognizing room for improvement. Coupled with data from sensors, decisions regarding the overall improvement of livestock are comparatively better than before. Despite these data-driven efforts, there are but a few people who are willing to invest in livestock farming technology because of the initial high cost of implementing these technologies. Aside from that, there's also the need to employ more people to monitor the herd since there are often multiple computers and screens, each dedicated to a different technology or records-keeping program. It would be a breakthrough of new technology that can be born by combining all these data into one cohesive form. Despite these odds, Canthus portfolio growth lead Tyler Bramble is still focused on doing his part for the betterment of all. Today we manage livestock for the most part around the human schedule, Bramble declared. This technology will allow us to manage livestock from a cow-centric approach. Animals will be able to act and go about their day in a more natural behavior and environment than it can today. The use of blockchain technology Finally, we have one that rings a bell for most of us, the use of blockchain technology. Usually the term is referred to in cryptocurrency, but there's a different blockchain technology for agriculture. Blockchain technology in farming is focused on tracking ownership and other traceable information in the food supply chain, as well as simplifying transaction processes. By doing this, it helps improve food safety and also provides secure data storage and management which facilitates the development and use of data-driven innovations for smart farming and smart index based agriculture insurance. This technology is extremely important since there's an estimated $940 billion worth of food worldwide that goes to waste, and along with that, it also levels the playing ground for small-scale farmers and crop growers from poor regions. And with that, we're wrapping up today's video about new agriculture technology in modern farming. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel before you go. Thanks for watching today's video, and we'll see you in the next episode.